Yo, this is Anthony coming to you live from the Paso Garage. What's up? Hey, Jet. This has been a little bit delayed, a little delayed message. I was gathering my thoughts. I've been busy. I apologize, everyone, but I am going to confront a few issues right now, all right? Your recent removal of Parag Marit, that you demoted him down, supposedly, let's quote and unquote that, okay? Supposed demotion to handling the caps, or being a cap specialist. But he's getting a pay raise? Come on, bro. We all know that you got your... We, we all know you got your unit so far up his you-know-what that it's not even funny or vice versa, whatever it is. He ain't fooling no one, bro. This is a smoke screen. It's a smoke screen. If this is true, it's a smoke screen that you're trying to pass over our eyes. And what's up with Tarver, bro? He don't want to work for you no more. Nobody wants to work for you, Jed. You're a fool. You need to go away. You are done. I'm not going nowhere until you are removed from this organization. Or, or, mommy finally puts a leash on you and pulls you back from the football operations of this team. Because you don't know squat about football, Jed. Your days are numbered. I warned you a year ago. I warned you a year ago. Sign. Resign Harbaugh. Resign Harbaugh. I'm going to be the worst enemy that you ever had. I'm going to be the biggest thorn in your side that you will ever experience. And I've lived up to the billing. You notice your seats, bro. You're not selling out nothing. Keep trying to give away those tickets. You see the people coming after you. You see the people talking crap to you about you trying to give away tickets that they don't want them for free. They don't want to pay for your beer. They don't want to pay for your overpriced meals. They don't want to go to your freaking stadium that's meant for all for yuppie viewing of football. That's how our football is. When you stand up and cheer you for your team, you shouldn't hear yuppies telling you to sit down. This is football. We're sick of you, Jed. You wanted to be held accountable if we're not winning Super Bowls. I want you to hold me accountable. Here I am. I'm holding you accountable, Jed, and I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to bob, I'm going to weave, I'm going to stick, I'm going to move, and I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to bring you down until you're gone and your Uncle Eddie's back. Or at least, like I said, Mommy puts a leash on her little spoon, silver spoon-fed little baby that doesn't know nothing about football and pulls you back away from the football operations. Sign checks, Jed. Figure out ways to make the team more money. The Yorks are pretty smart business people. Do what you know best and leave this team the hell alone. I won't go nowhere until you're out. I won't stop. I won't relent. I will not. I will keep this going until my mission is accomplished. So you better bring your Uncle Eddie back. Tell Mommy it's time to bring him back and step out, step aside, and get lost. You could stay with the Niners. I'm not telling you to leave them. But do what you know how to do best. And until that day comes, I'll be here, and I'll keep coming at you, and I'll keep swinging, and I'll keep getting more and more followers and you'll keep losing money and your mom's gonna go broke she's gonna be forced to sell the team and I don't want that to happen I want you to bring your uncle back and I want you to step back and let him run the team until then I'm gonna be here I will keep fighting I'll keep rallying the troops I will be your worst enemy but I could be your best friend do what's right Jed you know what the smartest business decision to do is to bring your uncle back because all of a sudden, the 49ers turn into an instant soap opera. And everybody in the world wants to see if Eddie could duplicate what he did in the past. Your sales will go through the roof instantly. Do the right thing. Make money. Do what you know how to do best. Pezzo out.